Well, everyone, we're back. The time is 9.22. Big thank you to Kelly Hansen for being in for Megan you're today. You're so welcome. Good to have you. Thank uh, you. We had beef jerky for you, so that's <laughs> fun. Uh, if you're looking for inside options for something to check out this winter, there is a free museum in Shoreview. The Cafestian Art Trust is a private collection turned museum featuring over 3,000 pieces and it's now on display. It seemed like a good place to send Minnesota Live photojournalist Bill Midiki to explore. Take a look. Hi, my name is Andy Slough. I'm the executive director of the Cafestian Art Trust and uh, welcome. I'd love to show you around. One of the first things you're going to see when you walk into our lobby is our beautiful Cafestian chandelier created by Dale Chihuly in 1994. It was originally created for Jerry Cafestian's home in Scottsdale, Arizona, and it is normally designed to be in a much higher ceiling, but we love being able to have this in-person connection where you can walk up to the piece and really get to see the details. Another one of the pieces you'll see in our lobby is this sculpture named Art by Mark Seijin. Uh, as you can see, it's an incredibly realistic sculpture of a human-like figure in the circumstances of being a security guard, uh, by far and away a fan favorite. Above me, we have what is called the pergola ceiling. It was designed by Dale Chihuly in 1999 and was originally installed over Jerry Cafestian's dining room table in Naples, Florida. Uh, when we uh, moved to this new location here in Shoreview, we created a room so that we could reinstall it and allow the guests to experience this amazing under the sea feeling that you get. The Cafestian Art Trust is essentially a museum dedicated to housing and showcasing uh, one man's personal collection of art and decorative objects, and that's Gerard Cafestian. He began collecting based on an early passion for art that he had ever since he was a kid. When he passed away in 2013, the family uh, wanted to bring all of the collection back to Minnesota. One of the many things that we have in our archives and collection is this wonderful portrait of Jerry Cafestian with Dale Chihuly back in the 90s. The show is called A Lasting Friendship for a Reason. Uh, Dale and Jerry were friends for almost 30 years, and that really was part of the development of the collection itself. The show itself features a variety of works that Jerry and his wife Cleo collected from Chihuly uh, over the many years of their friendship. And I really feel this is an interesting show from that perspective. So you get to understand there's a personal relationship and how that impacted what uh, works that Jerry collected over the 30 years. We'd love to welcome you here to the Confession Art Trust when you have time to see us, and we hope to see you soon. That's pretty. That is beautiful. So I went to the Chihuly Gardens in Seattle a few yeah. years ago, took Twin Cities Live viewers there, and it's just the same stuff. I mean, it's the same artwork, so you get to experience it right here in the Twin Cities. We, I, really uh, we used to live in Seattle, and the Chihuly stuff's everywhere, and he lives right next to the uh, what's called the Woodland Park Zoo, and you just kind of walk by his house if you park Park the zoo, which is sort of weird too. He's still living. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, at last check. <laughs> we should I guess Google that. That's a good that. question. Either he was way, alive when I lived way, there. He, his he didn't rest in peace, <laughs> Mr. Chihuly. But he just has his own work in his yard. Yeah. Well, I, it, it's just weird that his house is just like right, right. there. But that's interesting. Anyway, that has okay. nothing to do with anything. You know, uh, Art the Guard is, uh, we just heard about Art the Guard, yeah. a fan favorite here at the Cat. So they had to move him away from the entrance. We heard that in the story. But visitors and delivery drivers, they I were getting upset <laughs> because the guard wouldn't answer the door. Like they, they could look in and see him, they could see Art there. Uh, th they thought he was sleeping or perhaps having a, a well, medical Yeah, emergency. I wonder if they've called 911 before. A, that is, it's super weird. <laughs> Um, so the museum is free. It is open to the public. They do say, though, that you should make a reservation. Reservations are required. We'll put a link to the museum, minnesotalive.com. Just look under links 